All right, good day. Everybody out there is having a good one. Um, recently found this artist, Casey Chambers. Um, if you haven't checked her out already, we'll have links and all that stuff. Um, this one came highly suggested. Um, Casey Chambers. Um, this is live at Willie Nelson's, um, studio um this is casey chambers ain't no little girl this is uh luck sessions i guess it's the show the presentation presenter um, let's check it out i feel like the song ain't no little girl is actually quite different than anything else that i've ever um written or recorded before <laughs> over the years but um still feel like it's just as much me uh just, just kind of stepping outside the box a little bit and um vocally a little different than what i'm used to but also just style wise of the whole of the whole song I've never really kind of delved too much into that style of of song before but I, ju I don't know it just fell out and then it, it's now become part of who I am that song um I feel like the one of the first songs time. that I ever wrote was called The Captain um that is uh, probably the song that I've always felt like is, is more me than any other song I've ever written up until this point of writing Ain't No Little Girl Mm -hmm. Just like a child You've made up your mind You make it look easy To leave me behind You're So cool.
That was awesome. Again, that amp weighs a ton. Wow. All right. Vocal wise, this is like what, like, even though some of these artists sound from the States, just, it's like to pick artists like from recent to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Like, you took like Adele, Lana Del Rey, um, uh, and Amy Winehouse, uh, Joni Mitchell, and, and threw it all in a blender. Um, you know, it 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 might uh, sound like it's trying to be her. <laughs> um, this is beautiful stuff. Uh, I love her approach. Um, I love how soulful and heartfelt uh, she is with with the stuff. Like it feels like like it's the first time she's singing it. You know, um, it it has so much heart and soul in it. Um, yeah. This is, it, it sounds, uh, again, you know, when bands sometimes have a tendency to overdo things, you know, or overproduce, um, and that's good and all, and even if you can pull it off live, that's great, but it isn't necessarily needed all the time you know this is like a perfect example of you know strip something down to its bare bone we got an acoustic we got a singer we got a drummer good let's go run it this is talent this is beautiful soulful stuff um you know and it it, it really it begs you to to really dig into the catalog um I, I think that a lot of different uh, people that enjoy, like, you know, um, well, those artists I mentioned, um, and, uh, or, uh, like, you know, country even, or bluegrass, or uh, blues, or jazz, um, this is right up your alley. Uh, definitely check out Casey Chambers. I mean, um look she sold me on lose yourself and that wasn't even you know what i mean she she turned that song into her own song and really made you know i've been talking to people in the comments and stuff and i mean she really made people like that wouldn't necessarily pay that song any attention and don't like rap or maybe just mute it as soon as they hear dun 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 you know um you know that song was overplayed a bit but it's brand new when she does it I totally you know um it I I, I wonder if um, the man himself, Mr. Eminem, has, has heard this and what he thinks. Um, if he's got any taste at all, he's going to be very impressed. Um, this, yeah. Um, and it would be neat to see some type of maybe collab or something, or if they could, you know, um, uh, find a way um, or sample her or something like that um, I think he would benefit
from that. I do personally think she would benefit from, you know, um, including her. Um, especially after seeing, you know, Raise Yourself. And this, this song right here just really hits home how much, you know, it, again, her, her music just begs you to, you know, let's dig into this rabbit hole and see what we find and all the different, you know, and again, all the different types of genres that she appeals to, um, you know, just within these two songs, you know, um, and I'm sure I'm gonna, um, be adding even more as I, as I go on. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking more in, um, to her. And, and I really come to realize that, you know, I thought I knew, um, what was going on down in Australia musically. I really did. I, I, I thought I had a good beat on things, you know? I really, I really, I kept, no, no, not at all, no. <laughs> Not, not even, uh, well, a little bit, a little bit. I, you know, I'm, I've always been a fan of ACDC, um, Silver Chair. Uh, I could, I can list off a ton of, uh, band, NXS, uh, you know, there's a bunch of bands that have come out of, of Australia that made it big in the States. Um, some just made it like big in Europe and stuff like that. Um, and have, a uh, a, a small fan base. Uh, by proxy, um, but, um, you know, in the States, but, um, you know, I'm learning that, you know, there's even, you know, Australian versions of songs that I thought I knew, you know, and come to find out, no, you don't, you don't know anything at all. Shut up, sit down, hmm, listen to this. And definitely, um, that's what you do right here. Go check this out. Um, go check her out. I'll have it all linked up and everything in the description as always. Um, yeah, definitely support these artists. Signal boost. Show people. Don't, you don't have to show my react video, though that'd be, that'd be great. But show people, you know, the links and sharing and everything and, you know, get that out there. You know, show this to somebody that you think, you know, would appreciate this. I mean, there are fans out there that, you know, that you know, uh, that would like to have more of this music in their lives and some newer stuff. I, I really think that like Lana Del Rey fans, I think you know fans of Adele and uh, Amy Winehouse and Joni Mitchell. I could I can do. I think people that appreciate those artists would really benefit, or they would love you know, to have more of that. And I think this would be a, a great place uh, for them to start. Uh, I know I'm going to be showing um, her to uh, quite a few people. I've already, um, I, I was showing to uh, my son and some friends. They were already like, whoa, they couldn't, you know, the whole lose yourself thing is, <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Uh, Another just great song, heartfelt stuff, really impressed. I know I'm rambling, but you know, I get excited about some of this music that, you know, it's just new stuff that I'm finding that, you know, um, you know, and like when I say I thought I had to like beat on like Australia, like even their indie scene, you know, I get quite a few bands that I get sent, you know, uh, indie bands, you know, for like for the radio and stuff like that, um, you know, bands you know, from, from certain labels or whatnot that I get sent. I thought I knew what was, you know. So we're going to be going down a bit of an Aussie um, rabbit hole and um, definitely checking out more bands um, like this and more from her, um, definitely. Um, if you like uh, finding new stuff, uh, found uh, the right channel we got uh, we're in the search for all sorts of new music new stuff uh like comment subscribe let me know what you think um definitely if anything leave some suggestions you know say hey, stupid go check out these bands um now nah, try to be nice but <laughs> but um 
But at any rate, um, definitely go check out uh, Miss Chambers here and um, get hooked up. Kathy Chambers, man. Awesome stuff. Hope you're all having a great day out there. Hope it's going as good as it possibly can be. Um, we got tons more news, reviews, all that good stuff. Um, got a ton of stuff I want to talk about. Um, with uh, toys coming up and all that good stuff. So uh, definitely, um, if you're into all that type of stuff, take a look around. Let me know what you think. And uh, have a great day. We will see you in the next one.